Hello everyone and welcome back. We have another figure Friday. So what we're looking at is we have old cups. So I have an older version of cup and we have a newer version and we'll try and see if I can't do this and I'm kind of reaching out a little bit. Uh, just how the camera is sitting that hopefully you guys can see everything. Um, so like I said, this is an older version of cup. I uh, kind of like them. Uh, has a very, has the, has the right transformation. Works good. This is a studio series. Um, he's got some extra stuff. We'll see how this all works out. Has a nice box to it. Uh, nice clear so that way you can see the figure inside. You can see if it's the figure you really want or not. Um, and of course, he has the right mode and everything else. He's got his rifle, his uh, Energon kind of dispenser there for when he's in the movie and he's trying to do the universal uh greeting um i was trying to trying to practice on this and of course now i'm failing to remember exactly what i was just saying and that was like two minutes ago um i think it was like weep waman non nini mom something like that um but we'll see how this goes uh hope everyone's having a wonderful day as we open this up and it is a friday for us so we get to look at everything here. Oh, we have some nice art work as well. Okay. So I tip everything out outside of, out of the screen here. Let's get this kind of done up. Okay. So because this is a studio series, he looks a little bit more of how we had seen him in the movie. Um, of course, it's all done up here in the plastic and one of the things I really wanted to show you is they had a robotic Kraken on the print on the inside here so uh, if you remember they were kind of cup and hot rod were facing off against this in the movie um, and then cup had kind of gotten a little dismembered and hot rod put them back together with a little uh, little dash into the side saying that he was misplacing a couple things but he did actually uh, take out a burr in his rotator cuff um, as I go crinkle with all of our stuff here now the nice thing is we only have one two strands kind of keeping them in here so I can grab my scissors here you know it is kind of nice when we do have uh, a clear box because they don't have to put as much print this is a nice print up from the movie um, as I remember it so it saves them a little extra work as far as that goes and then we have the wonderful figure that is cup inside so let's try and get them out of here uh oh I think I'm wrong I think I do have two more uh, pieces here holding them in there in the arms I didn't see it though that's the the silliness here oh, come on oh did I get it here it is trying to get the strand and not chip off the paint okay now we should be able to pull them out of here there he is okay get these out of the way so uh, putting the two of them together he has a very nice look to him and remember he's supposed to go back down to that truck so um, the interesting thing is, is because we have cup and we have his design um, they've kind of used this version I think in a couple other ones uh, we have an Orion Pax that has done some similar to this um, this one's a headmaster so uh, we'll get them both transformed here we'll, we'll kind of get them going here um, but I do want to make sure you, you're aware this is a headmaster version um, that had come later on in one of the comic books I believe it was um, which I'm not as well versed I've said this many times in the past that I really didn't get a lot of the comic books when all this stuff was out and about um, I do know because I've watched some of the other series and stuff like that um, on YouTube um, and they go through uh, one of the ones I really like is the basics 
of, and then he will pick whatever the Transformer is. He does a very deep dive, goes into the whole backstory between the cartoon, the comic book, the differences between what was done in the UK as well as what was done in Japan. Um, and he's covered a lot of the other series that I didn't even watch. Because um, when my kids were growing up, I was watching their shows with them. So as far as that goes, I can't keep up with everything that they had done. But we do have Cup here in the studio series, and he does look very nice. Um, oops, and I'm transforming his leg. He does have a nice joint here for the knee. And then it looks like it does kind of move here a little bit kind of like how we have it on our GI Joes and I think that's where we got some of the the wonderful sculpting that we do on the Joes is because they were learning as they're redoing some of the Transformers you know how do we do all this stuff here oh, his his hand doesn't move here but we do have a movement on his upper arm which seems like it's coming off as well as the shoulder itself so okay now this is the first time I've taken it out I do feel the wheels moving here so we have some nice moving wheels hopefully everything equates to a good roll from them uh, being a studio series I'm hoping so uh, but I'm not a hundred percent certain something I do want to note is uh, a lot of the studio series especially for from this they were getting a little older so he was actually marked down on clearance at my local Walmart so um, going from that standpoint um, I do want to let you guys know because if it's a figure you're trying to get you might want to try and think about getting them quick because if if they do clearance out you may have to pay a higher price whenever you find them again okay because I don't know what I'm doing for trying to transform them I'm going to use the cheater method and look at the instructions uh, it will be just off screen here so um, and like I said we do have his gun so this looks a lot more appropriate than what we have here this turns into part of his kind of bed for the truck mode where oops I knock him over um, where we don't have that there and of course then we have his dispenser here for uh, the Energon so um, okay so let's see I think I'm looking at the back side here so let's get this on to the right side so we can try and figure this out now first of all it's seeing that we're gonna twist his head around um, and looking at his head it is I mean, we have different colors going all the way through this this has always been kind of up a little bit more it's not not that high up here um, as far as that windshield goes I don't know if that's something that's going to move or not so we're all going to figure this out at, at the same time okay flip them around this kind of sneaks down this way and they want me to unpack that a little bit oh, oh there goes that all right helps if I actually pay attention to the instructions oh we got tires there okay and then it looks like the head is going to be going down here shortly but okay once his arms back and then I'm confused here the arms are supposed to go that way it seems like we're doing a little extra moving just just the arms around so something doesn't seem quite right to me and it looks like this is all supposed to kind of collapse in on itself here um, Almost like that goes here. I 
they've got everything kind of going down here with this. And this is supposed to come up and around. As such. And he's still kind of hunched over here. Because they actually have this like this. Ish. Alright, I gotta sit him down. Because now we're on the other side. Okay. Now they do have all this kind of coming together underneath here. But I'm losing room here for the head, so something doesn't seem like it's doing quite right. Um, okay. I'm sure this is all going to work out perfectly fine, but it just seems like I'm kind of having issues here. That's going to go up here. And of course, once again, I break something. First transformation, I break something. This is not the first time we've done this on this channel. But this is a common thing with me, isn't it? Okay, that becomes there. That becomes there. That's the bed of the bed of this truck. I get that. I think I'm going to leave this up here for a moment. Because they got this kind of coming up. Okay, get that up. I think I'm backwards here. I'm not 100% certain what I'm doing wrong. All I know is I'm doing something. <laughs> it feels like I'm doing something that's not quite right. Because these are being said that they should be nice and together, but I've got everything else in the way here. So, is there something here? Aha, uh -huh, there is. That's where I'm getting it wrong. Okay. These actually pivot a little bit. And that's messing me up. Alright. Now let's see if I can salvage how I'm doing this to be done correctly. I really still don't feel like I am. Okay, so that's a door to go into the back from the bed of the truck. And these are supposed to be all both together, but... Okay, I think I got that one. I think I got that one. Now they're together. Hopefully. Okay, so that's supposed to stick out like so. Everything I'm seeing says that these stay straight out. So I'm doing something kind of wonky here. And this is just where, where things get kind of interesting. This is why these things become puzzles, because trying to figure this out, 
I had nieces and nephews, and it was always funny trying to handle Transformers because then they'd be occupied for hours just trying to figure this stuff out. Yet here I am trying to, likewise, trying to figure this all out. And then I break the wheel again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time we've popped the tire off. Because that's there. And then they have it go back. So I'm doing something. Something doesn't seem right. I feel like I'm an idiot here trying to figure this all out. But there's a reason for this. I just don't know what it all is. Alright, that goes there. I think this is the point where if I was if I was like my father, I probably would have handed it to someone that says, here, you figure this stupid thing out. <laughs> All right, I think we're getting there. I think. Okay, that needs to go in here. Okay. there that's there I think we're getting some headway here because this goes down that becomes the bed all right so bear with me here we, we we're we're gonna get her Hopefully without breaking any more pieces off, but we're going to get her. This is a, this is very, like I said before, it feels kind of wonky here. Okay, that's where I'm going wrong. That has to separate, okay. It just feels kind of off. And then to me it just seems like there there should have been an easier way to do this, but I mean we get it. Maybe not the prettiest. But we did get it, I guess. And now I get his hand out. Sit, stay. Put salt. Okay. That's how they say it's supposed to be. Seems a little off, but that's what they're saying it's supposed to be. And then this goes up here, maybe. All right, well, there's the cup that, that we have from the studio series. That is not that easy. Um, this next one, now, like I said, this is a Headmaster series. So we can take the head off, can turn them around, and we have a little guy here. You know, the, the guys for the Headmaster are kind of plain. Um, you know, it's, it's more the function to get them to look like what they're supposed to look like, and then you can turn their head around, which... They should be facing the right way, but, um, you know, he looks he looks a little chunkier, and he looks, uh, the face-wise, the face looks a little younger to me than what we have for, for Cup. Now, maybe that's because I think the character that is the headmaster is actually a younger uh, individual, and then, of course... See, and this, <laughs> oh goodness gracious, okay. All right, 
so. There we go. No. How did I do that? Oh, I'm breaking everything. I did not have this kind of problem when I, when I did them the first time. Oh, oh goodness gracious be. Like I said, I get you get me on the screen or whatever, and suddenly now I just kind of do things, and I kind of fumble at times. Okay, goes out. All right. Then we lift this up, and then that goes there. This goes here. Let's so start getting this right. This one transforms fairly nice. I mean, there's our cab. This can open up, so our headmaster can actually go inside there. I usually just leave them as the head in there, but you could have them transformed. Um, the body that flips around. Whoops. This kind of comes back, which looks a little off, but remember, that's at an angle. And then this all wraps around. So we fold the feet down. This goes up. That goes up. This all comes out. And then this becomes one of the sides and I did something not quite right here there it is yeah. so that makes that whole line there and then that flips down And we repeat on the other side. There we are. So it does go together a little faster and a little easier. Um, the Studio Series, I guess because I've been looking at this one for a little while, Studio Series does look okay. I'm not going to say it doesn't. Um, it's just one of those things of it's not that easy trying to get it all together. In comparison. It is a sleeker model. You can see the similarity in the in the lines and all that stuff, but um, yeah, it's just uh, trying to get this to figure that out is a little little bit more complicated. But um, you know, I like how the gun is better. I like how this is. This one works a little easier. Of course, the more I use this and the more I transform it, the easier it gets. Um, like anything, you know, the more the more repetitions you get with something, the easier that all all tends to be. Um, it's not bad. It's just one of those things of just trying to get it and and going through on the first time, especially on screen, um, that gets to be a little little challenging. But it is kind of nice. I like I said, I kind of looked at them for a little bit and was like, well, I don't know if I should or shouldn't or whatever. Um, especially seeing I did have a headmaster one. And then finally, I was like, you know what? It's it's going on clearance. Let's there we are, and we'll take the chance. So, um, you know, it's funny because we we take some things for granted when we when we like at transformers and all that stuff. And for everybody in all the other countries, uh, I'm going to say this because you may find this to be funny or whatever. Um, we always had the Transformers, they just naturally crash land on Earth, and then when they start driving, they're driving on the right side of the road, which is something that we do here in the United States. I know there's other countries that they drive on the left side of the road, 
perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's your country, and it's the way you guys set things up. Of course, you're sitting on the opposite side, too. Um, but it's funny that in Transformers, they just start driving on the right side of the road, and we're having the same laws of traffic that we do here in the United States. So um, just kind of say this. It's, it is funny to think of it in that regard. Um, nice look. Wonderful. I mean, once we get it... Um, it's another one of those. Now, I just made this comment on, on one of the other ones. Now, the arm keeps falling down here, so that might be me and how I'm doing this. I may not be doing this 100% correct, so I'm not going to blame it itself because uh, the tires want to go. The front tires don't spin as, as easily. That one does. This one, not so much. But I don't know if I've got it dragging somewhere else that it's not supposed to be or something. Um which is a possibility, but I mean, I can roll this one. This one rolls a little bit, but it's dragging. So again, it's just one of those things of um, it's a nice slick look on the Transformer studio-wise. It has a very good look. I just don't know if I'm doing this really the, the right justice and seeing that it's actually rolling wrong because I'm, I'm not I didn't transform it 100% the way it's supposed to be. I have it almost there, but not quite. But it is what it is. Um, it doesn't roll the greatest, but, uh, you know, it, it looks nice. It really does. Uh, we have a little bit of a futuristic truck bed here. In, uh, this one, like I said, this becomes part of the box of the truck, and that sits up kind of high or whatever. Um, you know, we're here, his gun's really down here on his on his leg. So, um, it does get molded in fairly good, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, I'm not going to transform him back because I think we already took enough time, but it is a nice, wonderful build. It's funny because this is his feet right here. What gets to be like a side piece or whatever that's his feet and his feet are actually back here um, as as they're doing it differently um, but all right tell me what you think um it's you know because i'm not trying to stay with a certain theme or whatever we're kind of bouncing back and forth between all the different figures i have uh something fun something nice to throw out here uh, not just staying on the same constant theme all the time. Uh, try to change it up a little bit. But it is Figure Friday. Why not have, have another iconic uh, Autobot or whatever. Uh, in this case it's an Autobot, but sometimes we may have Decepticons and that. Um, but from the Transformers toy line. So with that, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.